Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Here, we have an unboxing to do. As you can tell by the title, this here is the Seastar S30. So, you may have seen about a week or so ago, depending on when this video comes out, I unboxed the S50, which is the older and bigger version of this. This here, I ordered it on pre-order. It looks like it's came upside down, so let's just pop it out. There it is. I did this on pre-order, straight from uh, ZWO, and yeah, it's now arrived. So let's open it up and see what you get. So you get a nice box. Then you have some instructions on the box there. It says, set up the tripod on the level ground. It just basically goes through. I like the box on this one. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, you do get some decal there. Some nice stickers. Uh, these two, I don't see the point in those two. Dangerous and all. These are, I guess, I guess these are like warning ones if you want to stick them. And all the rest are quite cool ones, actually. There you go. And here it comes. Let's get it out. Oh wow, it's actually quite heavy. I think it's about the same weight, or a little bit less than the uh, S50. It's small, but it's heavy. Uh, let me look at the original packaging. The box. Okay, it's about it's apparently three kilograms. Is that what it says on my shipping box? So it's about three kilograms, maybe maybe two point seven or something like. That, but yeah. Oh, I do like this carrying case better. Does it have a handle? Yeah. Okay, here it is. So you get one of those little silica gel things. Here's the tripod. And this is metal. It's all metal. It's not a... Yeah, that's metal. It's not plastic. I thought it was plastic on the photos. But yeah, that's metal. That's quite a good... And then here you get, I'm guessing, the USB-C charger. Let's open it up. I wonder if it's like the one that came with the S50 that kind of has the 90 degree bend on it. Or is it a normal? Oh yeah, it does. Exactly the same as the S50 one. Up at the top here, you get some more foam in there that you probably want to keep. Instruction of start up manual. And here you have the solar filter. Oh look, it's like a smaller version. And that easily just pops into here. I have like a little cut out for it. Okay. Let's get it out. And wow. It's got like all this little tiny... Can you see like it's got hair on it? Or something like some fibres of some kind. And there it is. Here I'm guessing... I don't know what that is actually. Maybe if you should look at the... Uh, instructions let's have a look to remove the battery oh wow that's cool you couldn't do that on the s50 so if anything happens to the battery you can easily replace it uh, i don't have anything to open that right now uh, one sec i might have something actually okay i've got these pry tools let's see does that work I don't want to wreck it. Yeah, there we go. And there's the battery. That you just unplug. Let's see what sort of battery this is. Wow, that battery's really in there. Okay, it doesn't tell you because they've covered it up. But to me, it looks like two 18650 lithium ion batteries together. So you should be able to get these quite easy. Because um, I know model shops, because I'm into my FPV flying, like uh, radio plane flying and stuff like that. And you can buy these quite easy. So it has a little bit of foam here, so it doesn't, you know, like whack about in there. Pop it back in. 
make sure these two bits line up and it should just cl click together like so and then pop that down there and then this battery cover just pops back on so i like that design actually there we go so that's the battery okay let's get all this out and then this just screws into the bottom has a reset button here you have your wi-fi name and password here on the bottom that screws in the tripod opens up and there it is the c star s s30 i was going to say s50 but yeah and the reason i got this is because it's so small let's see how high it is uh, Okay, I've got a 30 centimetre ruler here with a log. It's less than 30 centimetres high. That's crazy. Let's see, can I actually see the height? It's about 27 centimetres high on the tripod. So yeah, it's tiny. It's a tiny little thing. And if, this will be perfect, like I'm going to use it, to go travelling. Like, I'm going to pop it on my bike in the storage rack and then just go out on a bike ride and use like the scenic view that it has and then go out into like farmer's fields during the night, get away from the light pollution. Perfect way to go traveling. So guys, this is gonna be the end of the video cause I need to get ready to go out. But yeah, look out for videos on this where I will be going through on how you take the best photos of nebulas, galaxies, planets. Then also we're gonna try it with the scenic mode as well. So thank you all for watching, stay safe and goodbye.